Well, guys, record numbers of new Labour voters floated their way over the channel yesterday as the woke lunacy that is Gary Lineker decided to put his house where his mouth is and will now allow imported Labour voters to move into his home and live with him, which personally I find is absolutely hilarious, but I should add is extremely dangerous, especially considering what has happened in hotels around the country recently involving these new Labour voters. You know, when the broadband has not been up to snuff or the taxpayer-funded life they are handed is not good enough. You might remember back to Glasgow and what happened in a hotel there with Sky News hosts making excuses for why the low-life scumbags just tried to butcher six people because his broadband wasn't good enough. As I say, it appeared to have started just around about 12.50. Screaming came from the reception area in a hotel which, as I say, was occupied largely, if not totally, by asylum seekers and refugees. Now, this has been a subject of some controversy in Glasgow. At the start of the coronavirus pandemic, something like 350 or more were decanted from the accommodation they were in into hotels like the Park Inn. Now, groups campaigning on their behalf have been very vocal uh, about the conditions which they regarded as wholly unsatisfactory. Uh, and indeed, I've spoken to somebody, an asylum seeker who was in the hotel when this incident took place, he's told me about limited Wi-Fi, which made it difficult to get in touch with relatives back home. The quality of food was very poor. There was little to no money given to the asylum seekers. And critically, at this time, there was no, they, they weren't afforded any uh, degree of social distancing. They were in properties around the city where they could have coped with coronavirus far better, they say, than to be thrust together into this communal environment. So a great degree of unhappiness. Indeed, having spoken to one of the campaign groups in Glasgow on behalf of them, uh, they described these people, uh, the residents of the Park Inn and other places as desperate people getting more desperate with time. Indeed, it's only in the past couple of weeks that we saw the suicide of an asylum seeker who uh, had reached the end of the road in terms of uh, his ability to cope with conditions he regarded and many like him regard as uh, as untenable and unacceptable. Will that be Gary Lineker at some point in the future we hear about on the news? Possible, but not likely. I expect all this is happening because Gary Lineker is dead set against the government, Brexit and what the people of this country want, like defending our borders. I guess that explains why he is employed by the BBC. Now obviously, this is just another virtue signalling load of shit, which is par for the course with shit weasels like Gary Lineker here. And I bet him housing these migrants won't last very long and will likely be at a time when he is away from home working due to his job covering football. And if he is there, I bet he stays in a sealed off wing away from everyone in his mansion. We all know he has only done this because he was called out by a Tory MP for virtue signalling on Twitter, so to save face, he has actually gone and done it. Which obviously a few outlets have picked up on so we will take a look at the independent with the headline Gary Lineker to welcome refugees to live in his home Match of the Day host described government's response to migrant crossing the channel as heartless and completely without empathy. Because obviously the law doesn't give a shit about empathy or being heartless, at the end of the day laws are set and everyone has to abide by them in this country. And if they want to come into this country, the same principle applies. Gary Lineker will reportedly welcome a refugee to live with him. The Match of the Day host has been critical of the government's response to migrants attempting to cross the English Channel. No, Gary Gary Lineker is critical of the government regardless of what they are doing. He is also critical of Brexit like I said and anything the people of this country want. Because as you all know he thinks we are all a racist bunch of gammon and hates us with a passion. The former England footballer has been in touch with charity Refugees at Home The Mirror reports and will offer a refugee a place to stay. Now they should never address him as a former England footballer because it's an embarrassment to this nation. The guy is nothing but a wank stain on someone underpants. He is said to have no idea who he will be living with or where they will be from. Because, like I said, he probably won't actually be living with them. They will just be in his house and he will be somewhere else, probably in a different part of it, sealed off, away from everyone. He might spend 10 or 20 minutes with them a day, if he's even in the house, I would bet. He went on though, I've met scores of young refugees through football schemes 
and they are genuinely lovely kids and they appreciate any help they can get. Yes, that is in a very controlled environment where they are doing something that they obviously enjoy. What about in general day-to-day -day life when your broadband plays up and they might feel a little bit knife happy? Tell that to the people in the hotel up in Glasgow that all got stabbed because of it, including the copper, you worthless tosspot. He said, I'm sure it will be fine. I have been thinking of doing something like that for a while. Yeah, of course you have. It's amazing how you're only just doing it now when this shit has cropped up. My kids are all grown up, so I've got plenty of room. So if I can help out on a temporary basis, then I am more than happy to do so why not? Now make sure you take into consideration what he said there about temporary basis, meaning this refugee or economic migrant as he's more likely to be is probably only going to be there for a very short amount of time. And I am willing to bet that Gary Lineker is going to have some say over who comes to live in his house, that is for sure. It's not just going to be, this is the migrant that we found, you can have this one. He is going to have had checks done on them, I am willing to bet. But I do feel I need to point out how ridiculous it is that these rich arseholes are running around picking up migrants and saying they can move into their house because it's the virtuous thing to do. Give it a couple of days, you will probably see hundreds more of these losers doing the same thing. Essentially, giving more and more people a reason to travel across the channel and break into the country, break in the law because arseholes like this wanker here and the rest of them will support it and give them a house. Now, what you won't see is them doing anything for the people who are already in this country, living on the streets or suffering some form of hardship. And what about the children of this country who need to be protected from the sick fucks that are likely friends with Gary Lineker? You will notice not a word has come from them on anything like that, the grooming gang scandal or anything for that matter. The only thing they care about is virtue signaling matters protests and of course a bunch of immigrants coming over here that have no right to be here. Last month, Lineker, father to four sons, hinted he was willing to house a refugee after sharing a screenshot from an email from refugees at home. It came after Tory MP Lee Anderson accused Lineker of virtue signalling and suggested he should house the next boat of illegal immigrants. Which is exactly like I said, and in my opinion, going to be the reason why Gary Lineker has done this. He got called out on Twitter and being the woke virtue signalling tosspot that he is, he actually had to put his house where his mouth is. But like I said, I can't imagine this is going to last very long. And as you heard in the article, he's only allowing one person to come and live with him, not the boatload like he was told. Because as I said earlier, there was actually 409 people arriving in the UK coming over via small boats through Dover. This is obviously a massive jump in the record number since the previous record was only like 235, which is still a fucking lot, but 409 has completely dwarfed that. Maybe Gary Lineker can house and pay for all 409 since he is so virtuous but of course he's not going to do that is he? I would bet while this person is living at Gary Lineker's house we're going to have Lineker claiming money off the taxpayer to cover it. Remember in 2020 with toss pots like this virtue signaling is not free there is always a financial angle to it. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>